G'day everyone, Joe and Mungie here, and we are back with part two of my little Nightwish side quest. Um, if you didn't see earlier today, I did a video of Fleur's original band, Revamp. What a kick-ass metal song that one was. I was not expecting that. I'm really, really glad I got around to that. But today, and this is why you clicked on the video, I'm doing Yanis's, I believe his name's pronounced Yanis, might be Yanis, uh, from Beast in Black's version of Ghost Love Score. I've been suggested this since I started this channel, um, but I didn't know what Ghost Love Score was for the longest time, but now that I've done it and I've reacted to it, if you want to see that, I've left a link in the comments below. I know the dude can sing. I've heard Blind and Frozen, but Ghost Love Score is next level, like next level stuff. I don't have doubts he can do it. I just can't picture it in my head how he does it, so I don't want to wait any longer. Let's get to it. Alright, let's see how he goes. I have a lot of faith that this is going to be good, but I, I'm, I'm super curious. Music in this song is just so cool. Brilliant. I know I've said it before, but the music in Nightwish could just be used in epic film scores and I stand by that it is so good sorry let's get back to it Still got it, just chills going up my body, just like when Fleur did it live. I haven't, I'm not going to compare the two songs or who does better, of course, because Fleur's up here, but I didn't know his range extended that high. Like I said, I've heard Blind and Frozen, I think, was the most difficult song I've heard him sing. And just the, he's got such a beautiful voice when he does it too. Sometimes these high vocal singers, especially males, they can hit notes, but they sound garbage. I'm not going to name any names, but he has such a beautiful, beautiful voice. I, it's a shame. I'm, I'm only just getting in the Beast of Black now, but there's so much talent out there I haven't listened to yet. Oh, thank you for suggesting this. Let me get back into it. I'm not going to pause this one too much because I do know the song a lot. I, I'm going to enjoy it, but I will, I will pause and give my thoughts. Oh, 
there's so much emotion in his voice when he's singing this as well like he's he's hitting everything he's doing everything right i do understand it is a studio version you can always have studio magic but i'm not hearing it there and just see like i said the emotion just vibrating through his voice such power and control like this guy had to have been classically trained there's no way he's just far too good yeah i, I said i wasn't going to keep pausing it and I'll, I'll try to stop doing that A siren from the deep came to me, sang my name, my longing. Still, I write my songs about that dream of mine. really well shot as well it's basic but good camera angles good lighting i don't know if you guys know i've been in many bands over the years and him just like singing the guitar parts and sometimes you get a crowd that's so dead and it's hard to get into it and i found myself doing that live as well it's not good i should have tried hard to interact with the crowd but you can't help yourself especially band practice this part, the music in this part. I would love to see Nightwish do this with an orchestra behind them. I understand that's what they've done to make this song, but I'd love to see that live. I hope it exists. If it does exist, tell me. The music in their songs, and especially this, it's just a bonus that there's actually words to this. <laughs> there's a bonus that there's actually vocals. The song itself is just so beautifully written, and it's a real masterpiece in music. Like, I can't say anything other than that. It's just art. You know what? Sometimes it's hard to put vocals on top of it. You get this amazing piece, Sometimes vocals don't add, and I think that's where in this song, and he's doing a fantastic cover, but Fleur, and I'm assuming it was Nightwish's first singer, I'm sorry I forgot her name, did this. But yeah, it works. It works on so many levels. It's such a piece of art, this song. Like, those people who go, oh, I hate metal, it's nothing but noise. I think this is the one to show them. I'm sure they'll think of something to pick apart from it, but this is just beautiful, beautiful music.
just got to say the power in his voice there as well. Like, like I said, if you're not a fan of Beast in Black, I hope you are after listening to this video because they're amazing, amazing band. But he does hit all those high notes, but he has that grunt in his low voice as well. Fantastic vocalist, fantastic vocalist. I, I need to see him live. I hope he can do all this live. Well done to the Giannis. He filmed this so well. Oh, wow. That was brilliant. Now, like I said, I'm not going to compare it to Nightwish because you can't. That's that's where the bar is and no one's getting past that bar. But if that's not the best damn cover I've heard, oh, he's such a fantastic vocalist. I wonder if he could scream and death growl like Fleur. I don't think so. I haven't heard it, but you never know. He's amazing. Like I said, check out Beast in Black. If you want some recommendations, I'd probably I really love the new song Moonlit Ronde or Moonlight Rendezvous, but I'd probably suggest Blind and Frozen first. That's a kill of a song, and maybe Born Again. Both great songs. That was a long video, so I'm not going to keep you. Thank you so much for joining me. Plenty more Nightwish to come. Like I said, this was a little side quest. If you didn't see the video I released earlier today of Fleur's old band revamp. Check that out. I'll leave a link in the comment section below. I love this. I love this. I love all you guys for joining me and suggesting all these bands. So once again, suggest a way. I write these all down. So if I don't always reply to comments, it's normally because I'm at work and I'm quickly going through it. But I do write everything down in my little notepad here. So suggest a way. I'm talking too much. I've been Joe Mungie, and I'll see you all next time.